What's up guys, welcome back to season 2 and episode 3 of Becoming a Strong Man with Luke and myself, Harry. Yeah, buddy, what are we doing today, Harry? We're going to do a bit of uh, event stuff, strongman specific Ooh. event stuff, so it should be good fun. Oh, that's your first uh, time. I haven't done events since a long time ago. You've been keeping up though? Yeah, yeah, every uh -huh. week I've been I've been doing it uh, myself. Luke and Tom have been kind of busy doing their own thing. Um, business and that. Business! Know, all business moves. And what are we hitting today? So yeah. Log press? Log press. Um, might do... Well, I had farmer's walks, but we're just I'll just do farmer's holds because we're a bit limited for, for space here. Sounds good. Uh, and then see how my back is and we'll finish off with atlas stones. At the end. Uh -huh. What yeah. type of weights are you hitting in the log? Yeah, uh, one ten on the log. Yeah, I'm, I've got now. Um, so it's pushing it now. It's mm -hmm. getting up there. Um, yes. And then uh, just some kind of volume work for the the rest. You know. Sounds good. Yeah. First event session back in a while, guys. Hope you enjoy it. Let's go get our strongman event day started. <laughs> Yes, boys. Who thinks I should get new shoes? Put two holes in them. I said to myself, I'm not going to get new shoes until I break the log press world record, which will be next year. So I hope these shoes will last. And then what I'm going to do, this is a little insight, we're going to make a visitor centre in Invergordon, and then we're going to hang these up with the wooden log that we've got, and it'll be up in the wall for everyone to see. Yes, from Simon. Yeah, that's nice. Rise and grind. Thank you, Jordan, Neve, Luke, and the rest of the team. Awesome uh, new merchandise, clothing. Rise and grind, Mulligan Brothers. The Mulligan Brothers are also doing the documentary, so I'm looking forward to repping that. First of all, I've got to leave a legacy in the toilet. Uh, just doing some band work to kind of get all the smaller muscles activated yeah keep the shoulders moving in a good plane yeah keep them moving freely just get some blood to the muscles so as harry said he's going up to 110 so we're starting on the mirafit log it's around 30 kilos isn't it 30 yeah. kilos or so um i think the mirafit log is massive it's a huge help to anyone that's looking to start training a log because it's lighter obviously we've got the wooden one which is 140 kilos the metal one, the big metal one's 90 kilos, which is a little bit heavy to start warming up with. So I would recommend anyone looking to start out doing strongman, get something light, like the, the mirror fit log. So that's uh, the warm up down on the mirror fit, on the 30 kilogram mirror fit. So we're moving on to the 90 kilogram. It's, that's the one I usually do my working sets with, because um, it's bigger and obviously heavier. So yeah, 90 then move up to 100, maybe then 110. What's this warm up for? It's uh, warming up your core stability muscles. So. 
you want to do is say pull tape until it goes all the way up the top. There you go, that's good. Barely scratching. That's a good, good work. Sean will be using that in his mobility class next. Yeah, I'm taking lots and lots. A barely scratcher. <laughs> Two threes I've got. Two sets of three? Yeah. When we were training with you last, or the first time, log, you weren't even, you were not pressing that. No, no, I stuck to that. I was on the mirror fit with log, wasn't yeah. it? I think it was 80, 85 maybe. And now you're going for two sets of three with 110. 110 yeah. That's in the course of like under a year, right? Yeah, yeah. Like six months, I would say. So Harry's been extremely consistent with his training. Week in, week out, training, training, training. And it might not sound like a huge amount, like, but if you put that into context, like the percentage, you could work out the percentages. Harry's run rate max when he started was probably 70, yeah. but 70 kilos in the log. And now he's smashing out, or going to smash out two, uh, or sets of three with 110 kilo log. So that's incredible, that's a huge progression. So really excited to get this big log session underway. Feeling good. Um, my back, back's been pretty stiff today from yesterday deadlift, but just now it's feeling uh, feeling really good. Moving it, just moving, moving helps a lot when you have an injury like that. The worst thing to do is uh, kind of sit down and be stagnant all day. So get up and kind of stretch it off. So things are feeling good for working sets. Let's see, let's see how it goes. Just there, just kind of as you press, it just yeah. goes forward. Yeah. Like, you're strong enough to do it. It's just that little thing. Do you ever see it when I do walk sometimes? And I'll, like, I've like i got a heavy one, I'll press and I won't go yeah. because I can feel it going forward. Yeah. So, I'm not, yeah. Yeah. and then it's, everything's got to be right in the walk, everything's yeah. so precise. Yeah. Yo. 
it was a uh, out the gap. Try and get a little bit more tucked in. Yeah, it's just a little bit. If you're just losing, because you can see when they're flayed out of the gap, there's no power yeah. in your triceps to kind of push it out. yesterday so again when we're when you're leaning back you can feel that in your hamstrings when you pop down you can feel the hamstrings really yeah. fighting against you but that was that was two times and the third time you got one rep I think that's the thing see when we're competing as well you get one rep you always get points so if you didn't get it you get zero points so it's always just to grind up at least one rep sometimes you don't always hit your numbers but at least you give it a go. What was it you were hitting last week? A uh, hundred. hundred? Yeah. How's your shoulder? <laughs> um, it's weird. I felt it more in the 150 actually. Um, it feels actually not too bad. Yeah, a 170. I want to say the log's okay. There's maybe a little bit more in it, but I think. Um, you know, as you say in the hurry, you get a rep at it. One rep gives you points, so um, I don't want to push it too much. So I think that was decent. You want to do any more? Yeah, one five. One five. What are you doing there? Uh, drop it just down five kilos. See, so maybe get go for one, aim for two, kind of thing. Okay. Nice and strong. Come on, get it! disappointing but you know you get sessions like that just just hit it harder next week that's all you can do um, not, ma not el much else to say about it uh, on, to, on to the next one so that's uh, log finished uh, Luke done well getting the, the 170 um, I didn't quite hit the numbers uh, I wanted to but it's all good we're on to farmers holds now um, we were going to do farmers walks but as you can see there's not there's not a, a lot of room here yeah so just do some pickups
Dudley Dudley. Like a little boy. What was the time? 41.25. Oh, my arms feel longer after that. <laughs> How are you so good at group events, man? Take after Mark Felix, maybe. <laughs> 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 Pause after it, so it's 42. 42. Yeah. 40 minutes. Still bet me. <laughs> Look at my hands. Why are they green? <laughs> so bad. That's, like, that's the size of the handle. There you go. <laughs> oh, I felt like they were stuck there. Oh, that was weird. The right hand slipped. Four here, that. Forty-one and a thirty. It's not bad. I'm happy with that. <laughs> Very nice. Very good. So that was our uh, farmer's holds done. Um, quite good to keep a bit of grip training in. So that was nice to that with her. Harry's grip's really good. Um, so now we're going to do some back and forth with the stones over yoke. Um, and that'll be a nice decent session just to get us back into like the event kind of thing so yeah excited to get stones done just call it a day i've got to drive up to john o'groats one of our friends is cycling land's end to john o'groats big richard shout out to you mate uh, you, richard. we love you <laughs> let's go
What way are we going up to? This is, this is Taculus, is it? Just doing Taculus, so we're just, again, getting a real feel for it, so we're going to use the our Atlas Endurance Stones up to 120 kilos. Just throw it over a few times. Nothing too mental, but just to get our, our kind of bodies back used to kind of doing stones, or me getting back used to doing stones. So Harry's agreed to do no tacky today. Um, just so I can get back into things as well, so that's pretty nice of him. Awesome turf on the tatty here. old arms nice and sorry Gordon apologies yeah. I think the good thing is with, with no tacky and the no weights in this as well you've got to really get some uh, clearance over the bar because if you cut this this will just get knocked out of the park you kind of get lazy don't you when there's yeah. weight on it cause you just land I do it all the time just drop it on but when you watch Tom and he does stones nine times out of ten, no matter what weight it is, he's cleaning it. <laughs> um, yeah, and his height is over. Yeah. That's his height, yeah, but you do just get lazy, you know, you kind of look for that bar. I know I do, I'm looking for it, I'm like, oh, bounce it off and then drop it. Yeah. And um, that type of thing, that costs, you know, points of a second. So, again, when we're in competitions, you see how quick everyone's doing stones. So if you're 19.6, someone else has not done that, you're 19.4 and that's in pump you, so. Even one motion in it, sometimes it's slower. Yeah. One motion in it. Yeah, it can be sometimes, yeah. If it's a heavy grind. But, uh, well, unless you're Tom, you can just. Tom's different. Just, Tom's different. 
the best strongman the UK has produced. So that is that is that. That's well, training done, but work isn't finished yet. Grind never stops. The grind never stops. Rise and grind. Rise and grind. Big shout out to the Malgan Brothers, as always. Thank you for being amazing. We love you. Can't wait to see you again. We cannot wait for the documentary to come out. Ooh. Let's get it happening. <laughs> Netflix, number one. BAFTAs, what you said. Boom, boom, boom. Oscar Ooh. awards for everyone. That's what, that's, that's it. Oscars, let's go. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. As always, stay safe, smile, and stay spicy. And don't forget to ring that little bell. Ding, 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 ding.